shoulders a couple of rolls before we get going. So take a deep breath in, breathe out and roll the shoulders back and down, just loosening them off a little bit. Okay, maybe a couple of twists. So let's look over the shoulder and then over the shoulder. Just try and lengthen your neck out a little. to the middle and if you take your hands over your knees and just pull back round across the upper back and then bring the body up push into your fingertips behind you offering the chest up lifting the chin if you can and then let's again come on down take the hands over your knees pull back a little feel that stretch across your upper back and then draw on up, push down into your fingers, lift up, opening out the shoulders. And then come on down. All right, and just letting your hands rest upon your thighs, shutting your eyes, and just allowing for your expression to just feel soft, open, letting your eyebrows raise a little. Now take a long deep breath in through your nose and then slowly breathing out through your nose. Take a lovely long deep breath in and breathing all the way back out. Long deep breath in. Breathing all the way back out. And this time, take a longer, deeper breath in. And gently nodding your chin and holding on to your breath. chin back up and breathing slowly all the way back out again. Taking a long deep breath in and gently nodding your chin and holding on to your breath. And then raising your chin back up Breathing all the way back out again. And this time, take a longer, deeper breath in. And then breathing all the way back out and going right down to the bottom of the exhalation. Lower down your chin and holding the breath out. Raising chin back up, breathing in. And one more time, breathing out. And again, breathing out as completely as you can. Lower down your chin, holding your breath out. And then raise chin back up, breathing in, and breathing out. Now let's breathe in and raise those of your arms, clasping them up at the top, and as you breathe out, take a small rotation with your upper body, and breathing in, bring it to the middle. Breathing out, taking a small rotation with your upper body. Breathing in, bring it back to the middle. Breathing out, let's lower down your hands. Carefully come on up onto your knees if you can and sit yourself back down and upon your feet. 
heels. Now just reach all the way up towards the top end of your mat, caterpillar your fingers on up. Looking up to the space between your hands and as you draw the body along the ground, let's breathe in through your nose, rolling down the shoulders. As you breathe out, come on up into a cat stretch, rounding up through your shoulders and your back. Breathing in to take the head and tailbone away. Breathing out to sit back down upon your heels. Breathing in, let's draw the body up and along the ground. And breathing out again, come up into cat, rounding up through your shoulders and your back. Breathing in, head and tailbone away. And breathing out, sitting on back to your heels. Breathing in as we draw the body up and along the ground. And now breathing out, let's curl the toes, send the hips back and draw your head down through your arms. Breathing in, draw forwards to a high plank. And breathing out, bending your knees and sitting back to your heels. Breathing in as we draw the body up and along the ground. And breathing out as we send the hips away and the head down through your arms. Breathing in, draw forwards to a high plank. And breathing out, let's bend the knees and sit back to your heels. Breathing in as we draw the body up and along the ground. And breathing out, let's send the hips back and the head down through your arms. Breathing in, draw forwards to a plank. And breathing out, let's bend the knees and sit on back. Again, breathing in, drawing the body up, fluid moving through the back, I hope. And then breathing out, feel the muscles stretch all the way along the back body. Breathe in, draw forwards to a high plank. Breathing out, bend the knees and sit yourself back. A couple more times. Breathing in, drawing the body up and through. And breathing out to send the hips back and away. Breathing in forwards to a high plank and breathing out to bend the knees and sit on back. One more time, breathing in to draw the body up. And as you breathe out, let's remain in the downward dog and let's tread it down a little on the spot. So just drawing down one heel and then the other heel. And working your hips. A little from one side to the other. Spreading your fingers nice and wide against the ground. So you've got a really good base. Pulling the tummy up underneath you here. And now let's leave the heels back. Walk your hands back on in towards your feet. Taking a hold of your elbows. And just letting your forehead draw towards your forearm. And let's take a cup of size just to let go of the hamstrings in the back. Deep breath in, sigh out of your mouth, letting your body go. Again, deep breath in and sigh. One more time. Deep breath in and a little sigh out. Then letting go of your arms, bend the knees on the way up. And take a breath in as you bring your arms up to the ceiling. As you breathe out, let's push out into the waist and come out into that side body bend. Breathing in, bring your body up. Again, breathing out, push out into a side body bend. Great work here for the lower back muscles. Breathing in, coming up. Breathing out, letting your arms down. Let's step on up to the top of your mat. And bring your hands in towards your heart, bend forward. As we breathe in, let's raise both arms. As you breathe out, let's take a nice big dive forwards, bending your knees where you need to, always. Breathing in, right leg, stepping back. Release the knee, lifting the chin. And then breathing out, let's step back, hold into a high, strong plank. Breathing in, lower to your knees, belly and chest. Breathing out, softly draw up into up dog, elbows in, shoulders down. Breathing in to lower, and as you breathe out, engage the core, push off the ground to plank, and back off into your downward dog. 
Breathing in right foot, stepping through. Lift the chin, releasing the toes back. Breathing out, left leg, stepping through. And let's fold. Breathing in, pull up through the belly. Raising your arms high, gaze up to your thumbs. Breathing out, follow your thumbs back to your heart. Breathing in, raising your arms. Breathing out, diving your body forwards. Breathing in, left leg, stepping back. Release the knee down and lift the chin up. Breathing out, let's step back and hold into a high plank. Breathing in, lower to your knees, your belly and chest. And breathing out, gently draw into your upward dog, lifting the chin up. Breathing in as you lower. Breathing out, pushing off the ground to plank. Pushing back off into a downward dog. Breathe in, left leg, stepping through, lifting the chin, releasing the toes. Breathing out, right leg, lightly step it up and fold in. Breathing in as you pull up through the belly, all the way back out to standing. Breathing out, hands back to your heart. Breathing and raising your arms. And breathing out, big dive on forwards. Breathing in, right leg stepping back. Now just placing your heel flat down upon the floor and take down your left elbow to your knee. Let's take some circles with your right arm. Breathing in, circling up, following your hand all the way back and down. Breathing in, circle the arm forwards, all the way back and down. Two more, breathing in, open back with your shoulder. One more time, breathing in, bring that arm all the way back behind you and look back over your shoulder there for a couple of breaths. Breathing in through your nose, out through your nose. And now bring the body around. Take down your right hand to the floor. Go to the toes on the back leg and raise your left arm up. Really bend deep into the front knee and really push back into the calf stretch on the back leg. And then taking the hand to the side of your foot and let's step the feet back together behind you into plank. Let's lower down upon the knees, the belly and the chest. Okay, now just taking your hands beneath your chin and let's look to take up your right leg. Take a breath in. As you breathe out, if it feels okay to bend the knee, if it's not, then keep the legs straight, but sending the legs slightly backwards. And then breathing in to bring it back down, we change legs. Breathing out, take the left leg up. If it's good to, bend the knee, point the toe back. If not, just keeping the legs slightly straighter. So as we take the leg over, breathing out, sending the leg back. Breathing in to bring it back on down. Breathing out to send the leg back. And breathing in to bring it back down. Two more there. Breathing out, send the leg over. Breathing in to bring it back. One more time. Breathing out, sending the leg over. And breathing in to bring it on back. Now let's just place the hands beneath your shoulders, coming up into gentle upward dog, floating the elbows down, lifting the chin up. And then let's gently lower the body back on down, curling with your toes. Engaging your core, breathing in, push up to plank, breathing out into a nice long downward facing dog. Breathing in, step forwards with your right foot, releasing your left knee down, lifting your chin up. Breathing out, step forwards with your left foot and folding. Let's take a breath in, coming all the way back out to standing. Breathing out, hands back in towards your heart. Breathing and raising your arms. Breathing out, diving your body forwards. Breathing in, left leg, stepping back. And just again, take your foot flat to the floor. And let's bring your right elbow to your right knee. And with your left arm, let's sweep it forwards. Breathing in, open back your shoulder, follow the hand back. Again, breathing and brush the arm forwards. Opening it all the way back. And again, breathing and brushing forward. 
hands, opening your back. One more time, breathing in. Bring that arm all the way around the back body and look back over your shoulder. Take some deep breaths. Feel that opening there of your shoulder and your neck. Feel the inner thigh muscles working. Begin to open and work for you. And then let's turn the body back out. Bring down your left hand, turn your left toes to the ground, bring your right hand to come up. Again, pushing your way through the calf. And then bring your hand down to the floor. Let's step the feet together behind you so we're in a nice high plank. Come on down to your knees, your belly and your chest. Let's take the feet a little bit wider. And let's take your right arm to come across the front of your mat. As you take your left fingertips down to the floor, breathing in, coming on up. As you breathe out, glancing over your left shoulder. Maybe you can see your left foot. You might even be able to see both feet. Just trying to relax the lower end of your body though. Breathe a little, although I know it's quite difficult to keep the breath deep when you're twisting. And gently come back on down. We're going to swap sides. Bring the left arm across, right fingertips down to the floor. Breathing in, coming on up. As you breathe out, let's glance over the shoulder. And bring the body all the way back down. Hands beneath your shoulders. Gently offer the body into an upward dog. Elbows in, shoulders down. And then slowly release it back. Let's narrow the legs a little. Engage your core, breathe in, push up to plank. And breathe out to a downward facing dog. Breathe in, left leg stepping through. Lift the chin, releasing the toes. And breathing out, right leg, lightly stepping it through and folding. Breathing in as we pull up through the belly. All the way back out to standing. Breathing out, hands to your heart. Let's try a couple of our jump backs. Breathing and raising your arms. Breathing out, diving your body forwards. Breathing and raise your chin. Breathing out, step or hop back. Breathing in, hover, pull forwards, roll over the toes if you can. And breathing out, roll up high over your toes and gaze up to your navel. Breathing in, pull up to your toes, look forwards. Breathing out, step or hop to your hands. Breathing in, lift your chin up, extend the back body. And breathing out, lower deeper upon your legs. As you unroll, breathing in, coming all the way back out to standing. And breathing out, follow those hands back to your heart. Breathing in, raising your arms. Breathing out, diving your body forwards. Breathing and raising the gaze. Breathing out, step or foot back. Breathing in, pull forwards over your toes if you can. Breathing out, roll up high over your toes and look back to your navel. Breathing in, pull up to your toes, look forwards. Breathing out, step or hop to your hands. Breathing in, lifting your chin up. And breathing out to fold a little deeper. Breathing in and roll through your spine, gaze up to your thumbs. Breathing out, hands back to your heart. Breathing in, raising both arms. Breathing out and diving your body forwards. Breathing in, raising the gaze. Breathing out, step or hop back. Breathing in, pulling up over your toes. Breathing out, high lift and roll over your toes. Breathing in, pull up, hold on to your tiptoes, look forwards. Breathing out, step and hop to your hands. Breathing in, lifting your chin. Breathing out to fold a little deeper. Breathing in as we unroll through the spine, gaze up to your thumbs. Breathing out, hands back to your heart. One more time, breathing in, raise your arms. Breathing out, diving your body forwards. Breathing in, lifting your chin. Breathing out, step or hop back. Breathing in, pull up, roll forwards over your toes. And breathe.
breathing out, lift up your lonely toes and gaze to your navel. Breathing in, come up to your toes, look forwards. Breathing out, step or hop to your hands. Breathing in, lifting your chin up. And breathing out, fold a little deeper. Breathing in, and roll through your spine, gaze up to your thumbs. And breathing out, step all your hands back to your heart. And just take a, a deep breath in here. And all the way back out. Okay, I'm going to come through into our warrior sequence today. So let's breathe in, raise both arms again. A little more steady now. Breathing out, folding forwards. Stepping your left leg back behind you. Placing your heel flat down upon the floor. And letting your right knee dig sort of in towards your shoulder. And as you brace the front leg, come on up and open the shoulders and the chest. Hips and ribs facing the short ends of your mat. Give your shoulders a couple of rolls back and forth. And let's bring the arms to open back a little, palms up to the ceiling, and bring your arms kind of from the back to up so that they come in alignment there with your ears. Either keep them apart or bring them together. Again, all in accordance with how that feels for your neck and your shoulders. Nice, strong connection through your core and breathing in through your nose out through your nose. Okay, deep breath in. And as you breathe out, getting ready to come out into warrior two. Maybe opening the back hip a little bit more now. Rolling the front knee open and lengthening out through your fingertips. Gazing along the center of your right hand. So your ribs and your hips are now facing the long edge of your mat. Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. And let's reach towards your back leg and come into a reverse warrior. Pick the heel in if you can, straighten your front leg and draw your toes off the ground. Let your right arm reach you all the way towards the back end of your mat. Feel that arch coming through the side body. And then placing your foot to the floor, clasping your fingers to the, uh, to the back body. Coming into Humble Warrior, drawing your shoulder up on the inside of your knee. And then letting your head draw down, letting the arms hang over. Shoulder girdle release here. You're going to feel that up into the glutes, the inner thigh of the right leg. Now letting your arms go and taking both of your hands to the inside of your foot, turn your back knee and lower it down upon the ground there for me. Now turning open your front foot and as we come into lizard, we're just easing down on the inside of the leg. Breathing in through your nose, out through your nose. If you feel you can go lower and you need more space, Take your right arm beneath your right leg, work your foot across onto its edge, and then maybe lower from the center of your chest downwards. Breathe wherever you get to, keep some breath work going on here. And then we'll bring the body back on up. Work your foot a little out to the side here and then bring the body up a little bit higher if you can. Bring the hands in towards your heart and raise your arms. Again, you could stay vertical, you could part the hands, or we can start to send it back a little and follow your hands back. Feel that stretch through the neck, a little bit of the back body, then coming here, we've got the hip flexors stretching. And then coming back on down. And let's move back off the hip flexor now into calf and hamstring stretch. Bringing the heel in. So we want to draw back the shoulders, send the hips back slightly, and press from the center of your chest downwards. So you're finding the stretch coming along the back of your leg. If you do get some tightness behind the knee, which some people do, bend the knee just a little bit. Okay, take off that tension. And then pulling up through the back, let's pop the knees beneath you and come up 
to a high kneel. So preparation now for your camel posture. So if we bring the right arm up, small circles again. And as you breathe out, now we're going to follow that hand all the way back as it comes down by your side. And then we change it over. Breathing in, left arm coming up. And as you breathe out, just follow that hand all the way back and down. Right arm coming up, take a breath in. And as you breathe out, let's open the shoulder and send that hand all the way back and down. And today, this might be just really what you need to be doing for your neck, for your back, and by all means, carry on. Those of you who would like to reach around for your elbows, taking a deep breath in, now breathing out, offering up the chest towards the ceiling if you can. If it feels like a good day to do so, maybe look up or look back. And then from here, we can reach along for the back of your legs, or we could reach around and find the heels, squeezing the shoulder blades together. And then engaging with your core, tucking the head in, and gently bring yourself back on up. Sliding your hands ahead of you. Spread your fingers out wide, curl the toes, and send the hips back into a nice long downward dog. And if you can remember, hopefully you're finding now a little bit of difference in the hamstrings and how your back's moving. Now if you could raise the right leg nice and high, bend the knee, pointing the toe back a little, coming into your wild plane posture. And then draw your right foot to lock against your left. Squeeze the knees together, come forwards into a single leg plank. Really again, pulling up into the core, a little bit of strength work here. And then let's take the hips up high, taking the right leg up really high, and now drawing your right knee towards your right elbow. Hold it up, float the plank. And then slide your right foot towards your left hand, back heel down from the floor, raising your left hand up into fallen triangle, really pulling up through your waist here. And then bring your hand down to the floor, let's bring your right knee towards your right wrist and come into preparation of pigeon. So turning the knee open, the heel is coming down to the left side of your um, hip and we can either take firstly maybe the hands one on top of the other or make a little fist tower and lower your forehead down in the palm. So you feel the hips and the glutes stretching of the right leg. Those of you who'd like to come up and participate in that quad stretch, bring the body up to the middle and keep that body as centralised as you can. Now, noting that your thigh and your knee are on the ground, then when we bring the leg up, reaching around and taking a hold for a quad stretch. Breathe. Try not to hold your breath. Now, we let go of that leg, swing it around to the front, and line the left leg up with the edge of your mat. Now, we're going to work in with two parts of the posture. So I'm going to stretch across for the lower back stretch. Then I'm going to bring that right hand back behind, fingers pointing away from you, and then we'll lift the hips, and we'll take a stretch going backwards. So a small back, back bend coming up there. So let's reach across with your right arm towards your left leg, and take that stretch for your it's for your back, but you also find the inner thigh and the hamstring stretching of both of those legs. And now as we come out of it, as we come back, we're going to do this again. Fingers pointing away from you, push down through your left toes, lift onto your right knee, and then bring your left arm all the way back, looking back towards your fingers. And then bring the body back down and we'll do that again. So taking your right arm across, get that 
stretch out. And now let's bring back your right hand, fingers pointing away, push down through your left toes, raise your left arm, and then reaching back, as if you can, you're looking back towards your left hand. And drawing the body all the way back down, we'll do that one more time. So let's stretch it across, big lengthen over. And then coming out one more time, fingers pointing away from you, push down through your toes, up onto your knee, arch the body backwards. And then coming all the way back on down. Good. All right, coming into the boat. So I'd just like you to bring your knees up and if you can, balancing on your buttocks. So try and balance more so on your sit bones than the back of your buttocks. Now you can hold the legs, okay, this might be enough. We can take the legs away, all right, we can maybe hold them or you can let your arms come down by your side. Now really pull up through the abdominals, try and get the abdominals to work here. Deep breath in and out. Again, breathe in and out. Two more breaths and out. One more and relax it down. Okay, and then if we just gently cross the legs, pull them beneath the body, and if you can, onto the knees and lightly hop back. But if you would prefer to come back a different way, that's fine too. Sending your hips back there for me and just hold it out into a downward dog again. Okay, now looking up between your hands, let's step the right leg through and let's drop the left knee down halfway along your mat. Take a deep breath in, raising your left arm and as you breathe out, bring the elbow to the far side of your knee. Now it could be today you take your hands into prayer and we twist a little, looking towards the fingers. It could be that we managed to get the hand to the floor, having taken your armpit over the top of your leg. You could use a book or a block if your hand hasn't reached the floor. Now from here, leaning forwards, lifting up your back knee, if you can, if your balance is there. And then finally, you could reach all the way back over with your right arm. Your, your right arm is coming forwards. So it's not going up, the palm is facing down and you're stretching it off the end of your mat. And now let the arm back down, take back out the left arm and lightly step your left leg up to your right, folding in towards your knees. Let's take a deep breath in, coming all the way back up to standing. And breathing out, hands coming back in towards your heart. Okay, I'm going to take a couple of balances here. So just letting go of your arms, rolling back your shoulders. Let's start with our tree posture. So floating your right foot either to your calf or above your knee. Bring your hands in towards your heart. And then slowly taking the fingers up through the central point of your body. Taking your right hand back behind your left if you can. Just encouraging that knee to open. Take some deep breaths in through your nose, out through your nose. Now let's let the arms gently down. Bend your left knee coming into eagle. Let's wrap the right leg across, take the left arm across, wrap the right arm underneath. And then from here, if you can, taking your elbow down towards your knee. And then coming back on up, just a little bit more, I'm going to take up the right leg, Either hold it from underneath, hold it with the knee bent, or hold it with the leg straight, or take your first two fingers around your big toe, straighten that leg out. 
Breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. Good job. Right now, letting the leg away, if you can, hold it up. Breathing in, and now breathe out, lower the leg slowly back on down. All right, hands back into your heart. Let's take a nice deep breath in, raising both arms. As you breathe out, let's dive on forward with the upper body, and as we step back, moving your right foot, placing your back heel down and upon the ground, bracing the front leg, as you come on up, nice and steady with the equal balance between both feet. Again, a couple of little shrugs with your shoulders, loosen them off again, turning your palms upwards, raising your arms, either look between your hands or bring the hands together. Again, long deep breaths. And your hips and ribs are facing the short end of the mat. Back legs working hard, front thigh is working really hard. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, open into warrior two. So here now, we've got a little bit more openness there to the hip. Rolling that right hip open, gazing along the center of your left hand. And locking into the core. Tucking in the under a little bit with your tailbone so you're not back bending too much on this one. And now let's reach into reverse, straighten the front leg if you can, reach towards your back leg, looking up towards your left hand. If you can, draw the toes back and that'll just increase that side body stretch. And then place the foot back down. Clasp the fingers back behind the body and draw down your left shoulder on the inside of your left knee, looking back towards your back foot into your humble warrior. All right, let's come around. Taking both of your hands to the inside of your foot, Turn your back knee and lower it down and upon the ground. Let's turn open your front foot and gently bend a little at the elbows. Again, see how that is for you today. If it's enough already, stay where you are. If you want to walk the foot across a little, place it on its edge, take your left hand beneath, and maybe just enable your body to lower a little bit deeper. change. 
breathing out, reach it back, looking back if you can. And then again, if this is a great benefit and you'd rather do that than work all the way back, carry on. If you're okay to work into camel, find the elbows, offer the chest up, and then looking up. And maybe from there, we're reaching along to the back of the legs, maybe reaching back for your heels. And again, you want to really feel that you're opening up all those muscles along the front body, your abdominals, your pectoral muscles, your chest, the front of your neck. And then engaging your core, come on up. And then slide the hands forward, spread out the fingers. Curl the toes, push off into a nice long downward facing dog. Let's raise the left leg high, bend the knee a little, pointing the toe back. And now coming into your single leg plank, join the two legs together, coming forward, squeeze the knees together, looking beyond your fingers, breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. And then send the hips back, and this high down dog split, reach that leg up high, and then draw your left knee towards your left elbow, and float in plank. And move that leg through into forward and triangle. Take your left foot towards your right hand, but bring the right hand up. Look up towards your thumb. And then bring your hand back down to the ground and draw your right knee to, uh, sorry, left knee to left wrist. And again, we can take the right leg back. We can place the thumbs, okay, one on top of the other, place the forehead down, okay, a little fist power. And by all means, settle in and fuse that breath. Stay there for a couple of breaths. Those of you who are coming up for quad stretch, bending up the back leg, put the knee on the floor, maybe the thighs on the ground a little bit. You get that quad stretch.
lying down if you prefer. Now as I extend the legs out and away, I'm going to point the toes, push them away, and then draw them back on in. So it's a variation of our double leg extension. Breathing out to push away, and breathing in to come down. Breathing out, engage the core, push away, breathing in to come down. All right, now this is a nice steady posture. I think you may or may not agree. If you wanted to make this harder, we come up and bring the fingertips out to the side of you. And then breathing out, pushing away, breathing in to draw back. Breathing out, extend the legs away, breathing in, draw back. Breathing out to push out, breathing in, draw in, good. Really lengthen through the feet, breathing in to draw in, two more. Breathing out, extend, breathing in, knees wide, and one more, and one. All right, sit the body up, pull the legs to come up beneath you, hands to the floor, and a light hop back. And then push back off into a downward dog. Let's step through with your left leg and now draw your right knee halfway down for our twist. Coming up to a high knee and as we breathe in, raising high with your right arm. As you breathe out, elbow to the far side of your knee. Either we have the hands in prayer or we take the hand down to the floor. Leaning it forwards, lifting up your back knee if you would like to. And then maybe if you feel you can follow over with your left arm, bring it all the way across and then looking up towards your thumb. A good strong breath here. Okay, gently let down your left arm, hands to the floor, step your right foot lightly up to the top of your mat and fold. Take a deep breath in, coming all the way back up to standing. And breathing out, hands back in towards your heart. Okay, let's just finish those balances off on the other leg. So roll back open with your shoulders. Sliding up your left foot above or below your knee. Hands in at your heart. And then slowly making your way up through the midline of your body. Taking your left hand back behind your right, lifting your chin up. And then releasing your arms, bending your left knee a little, tuck the leg around if you can. Bringing across your right arm, hook the left arm beneath, and then folding forwards for eagle if you'd like to fold in. And again, breathe in through your nose, out through your nose. And then gently come on up. Okay, and then with your left leg, either hold it from underneath, Straighten, hold it from underneath, or take your first two fingers around your left big toe. That's it, your leg may be a little bit bent, it's okay. This is all about balance, finding different parts of the body. Nice deep breath in, and as you breathe out, let's let go of that leg, hold it as high as you can, breathing in, and then breathe out slowly, lowering it back. All right, stepping back to about the middle of your mat here. Let's come on up into your tiptoes. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, let's lower the body all the way down. Okay, taking the hands forwards and if you'd like to come up into your crow. So either you're wrapping your knees around your triceps or you're tucking your knees up underneath your armpits. Looking ahead, taking your time. And gently, if you can, lifting your feet up behind you. And again, don't worry if it's not a double leg lift today. Maybe it's a single leg lift, and that's okay. Maybe hold that for a couple of seconds and swap legs. It really is okay. It's just, again, getting used to things, deciding, deciding it's going to 
going to happen, things like that. Alright, come on down everybody and then let's come down to a sit, hopefully you're not too far off the ground. Now I'd like, it, like to take the remaining couple of postures on your back, okay, I'd like to work up into shoulder stand and plow. Um, for those of you who really don't want to go up onto your back or take your legs over, completely understand. We've got a happy baby where we're holding onto the legs and then we can take a single knee across the body and then change the other side. Or if you want to, you can do all of the above, okay? You could just do a little bit of everything, all right? Just see what's nice for you. So coming down upon your back, let me cover first of all happy baby. So we bring the legs in. If you can, you're holding onto your heels and you're drawing your knees down in towards your armpits. And you can stay there, okay? Now covering the knee across the body twist. So I'm taking my opposite hand to my knee across and then taking your gaze over towards the opposite hand. Uh, if you want to stay with this, you can stay for a bit longer. And then we would swap legs and draw across. Now covering the shoulder stand. So when we go up to shoulder stand, peeling the legs up and over. And then working your elbows as close together as you can. And lacing them to support your lower back. Then letting your body pivot back up towards the ceiling, pushing up nice and high. And you want to really be able to generate some power through the toes, through the legs. Again, it's not a, it's not a passive um, posture by all means. It really is quite a powerful posture. You really want to draw in the usage of your abdominal strength, the leg strength, the glutes. But you want to feel that the neck feels fairly relaxed. If the neck's not feeling relaxed, come on down quite quickly. All right, that final posture into plow. We slowly take those legs back behind the body. And then if your feet reach the floor, clasp your fingers and draw them to the mat behind you. You could though have your knees bent. So if it does feel a little bit intense, bend your knees in towards your forehead. It makes it a little bit easier. It's a big back stretch. So if that's not where you need to be today, try one of the other postures instead. Now, those of you in shoulder stand, place your hands flat upon the floor. Let your knees drop towards your forehead first, bending the knees. And then slowly lowering your back down, vertebrae after vertebrae. And then, if it feels good to slide the legs along the floor. If you need to roll your knees around a few times, then do that. For some people, again, it's quite a big back stretch, so you might need to just again, realign a few things, get things loosened off. Once you're ready though, you're going to come down onto your back with your palms facing upwards. And we're just going to participate in a little bit of relaxation. So firstly, taking a deep breath in through your nose. And give a really good sigh out of your mouth. Again, take a long deep breath in through your nose and a lovely deep sigh out of your mouth and then this time deep breath in and then sigh down into your body letting go and now give yourself permission to remain still And just to feel that you're being held by the earth. Allowing your eyebrows to part. 
relaxing your jaw, your mouth. Relax back your shoulders. Relaxing your arms, your hands. And just let the upper body feel heavy. The chest is opening up. Relaxing your belly and your buttocks and your legs. Maybe be aware of your heels, where they are falling out against the ground. Relaxing your feet. And being happy just to be. To soak up the reward of your hard work for the last hour or so. The focus, the activity. And as if we were just watching a cloud pass by in the sky. Let that be your practice. It's as simple as that. You've had it, now you're just letting it go. Maybe notice what you needed from it today and what you took from it. Was it the switch off of the mind? Was it the physicalities of the movements? What your body needed? It could be a little bit of both. Just drawing yourself into your mindfulness now and being mindful of how things are coming into your head. And trying to breathe again a little slower, a little bit deeper. Maybe be aware of your heart, be aware of the beating in your chest. Letting your breath just draw a little bit deeper. Visualize the passage of the breath going through your nose, all the way down, through your throat, along your throat, to your lungs. Then the oxygen being taken around through your blood system. And just noticing that. And starting to move into your fingers and toes a little. Starting to work your ankles, your feet. And starting to move your wrists, your whole hand. Now just moving your feet to the ground very gradually. Rocking the knees a little from side to side. And then slowly, after you've, again, reintroduced that movement to your body, rolling across to one side, you can stay there for a couple of breaths if you like. And then when you're ready, bringing yourself back on up. Lengthening through your spine, opening your collarbone back. Take a deep breath in, raising both arms, drawing the hands to the top, closing practice now as we breathe out, coming down to your crown, your third eye, your throat, your heart. And finishing with a single arm, feel free to join me or listen along. Deep breath in.
We can bow to each other, honouring our lights, honouring our practice, passing our best wishes. Okay, well done tonight everybody. I hope you have a lovely weekend.